I had my own television program for 11 years. I retired from that so I could finally finish the museum because that program cost me over $100,000 a year just to, to produce the material to go on the program with, and we needed to finish this museum. So I retired, didn't resign, retired. So uh, when they showed the program in prime time, I had seven million viewers. Somebody's listening. Can't go anywhere in the world without sooner or later somebody coming up. Didn't I see you on television? And what really blows my mind, they walk up to me and call my name. So they're listening. The Delk track, that's what we're talking about here. Let's discuss this a moment. Uh, it's 11 inches long intruded by an Acrocanthosaurus track. And you can see the great toe, and you saw one of the great toes of that guy walking in the mud was deeper than the other simply because it was softer there. And we've already discussed the details of that track a few moments ago. In early July 2000, Alvis Delk, assisted by James Bishop, both of Stephenville, Texas, Alvis was working in the Cretaceous limestone on the McFall property at the Biloxi River near Glen Rose, Texas, and discovered a pristine human footprint intruded by a dinosaur print. And that's the reason his name is associated with it. Now, the 11-inch human footprints, that one matches seven others that we've excavated, and I named those the Sir George series after His Excellency Governor General Ratu Sir George Thakambao. That is pronounced Thakambao in Fiji. Here it's Kokobo, <laughs> but that's Pakambao in Fiji. He was the grandson of the only king chief Fiji ever had. So because they are so agile, uh, their reflexes are superior. I named these tracks after him. We have 800 x-rays performed in a CT scan. All of them demonstrate the total characteristics of this. Corroborating evidence, the Willet track. This is one of my very favorites. It's over there as well. It's two tracks. There's a human footprint. There's a great toe. Count the toes with me. One. Yes. Notice the up push even around the little toe because it tends to point. Notice the up push around the second toe and it's the tip is a little deeper. Remember the second toe feeds more information neurologically to the brain than any other toe. And it has the metatarsal medial section. And then uh, Mike was talking about that extension of the fifth metacarpal, which bulges, bulges when you put weight against it. And that is unique to mankind. So that's a human print. But that's not all. When we had its spiral CAT scan, we saw that there was a deep depression under here. And that's a webbed four foot that showed depression. He stepped on a pterodactyl print. And all of that was brought out in the spiral CAT scans. We have over 800 of them in one, 400 in the other. The lab technicians all verified that is absolutely genuine. genuine.